Today I will design a low pass filter by using MATLAB. Um, we open MATLAB and uh, open the C L MATLAB surface window. Next we click in the top of the surface we sim simulink. We click simulink and then uh, another window is open. Then we click uh, simulink mo model first box simulink model and then we click. Uh, op another window is open and then top of the cvcl uh, to on another function and next we, we click library function basically we pick up the uh, component uh, basically used in this project uh, in the pickup uh, and next we click left is we see another type of name and we in the left portion left side we click We click utilities and electrical sensor in the left side and we firstly we see a simscape uh, simscape in the left and we click simscape And the next we click electrical and the next we electrical elements so we pick up we see many electrical components like capacitor diode resistor and another and op amp and uh, these components we pick up the main file what am i need next we pick up drag and drop the file and again with the capacitor pick and drag and drop the file in the wire i am designing also pick up a resistor from the main file from the lib library next we click open and and electrical reference we know low pass filter is basically consist of and we also pick up by searching in the double click the main designing part we in the same library we include the same component another library component cannot be uh, simulate uh, so we need the same library we also double click and we search or all are all click or click library browser we can pick component we see the we will be searching from our design we also use both process but uh, whatever you know yeah, easy and you can try it Next, we basically design a MATLAB file. How a low pass filter is consist, you know. Uh, so, same is process is using by uh, I will connect the all components. We pick the drag and pick the open size, and we set the capacitor value and flip the capacitor by rotating. If we need to uh, measure the voltage source, we need um, voltage uh, voltmeter and uh, and AC voltage source basically needed. We input the power AC voltage source. We pick up the library from and uh, we set a resistor and copy control using by control C. We capacitor copy and we connect the two capacitor by wiring. and we also copy a capacitor and we place it from and we also flip
all the components we set up and also you drag uh, you also drag mouse by right click of mouse and uh, we connecting wire by connecting wire we connect all the components that we know to from, know from the electronics how we connect one wire to another wire right? We connect the basically we know of non inverting in and inverting it we use op amp one non inverting in And next we pick up a voltage sensor which in it measure voltage how voltage is input and output will measure the voltage sensor we also have to pick up from the library function or library browser and we connect the voltage source from the output of the op-amp and we also copy the voltage sensor and paste and input uh, we will parallelly connect in the input from input we place a ground voltage sensor also copy and parallelly in the input voltage and one voltage sensor is a uh, and they parallelly connected in the ground also uh, output of the op-amp is the voltage sensor we need uh, this is a physical signal we need a simulink signal so we use a converter simulink ps2 simulink converter we pick up from library we search a library where is the ps simulink is situated we also need a scoop because of output we see the matlab in the scoop and we in the searching uh, also searching uh, um, ps2 simulink converter wire is situated it is situated in utilities and we as ps simulink to converter we in, we place the in the our design and we connect to the input voltage source and one is connected to the output voltage source uh, where the voltage sensor is presented a ps2 simulink converter is uh, is connected from the voltage sensor uh, and connected to the scoop we big the uh, simulink because of the small uh, small in the size so we will drag and big the size and we also copy the simulink converter to place output of the voltage and we make the simulink because of view of angle is easy in big size so output is connected from the ps simulink converter we also uh, we see a scoop we connected uh, collected from the browser library and we uh, double click to the scoop for scoop configuration and we click double click scoop and we see search option and we scoop we need scoop configuration if you want to scoop configuration because of uh, situated one uh, one input we set two input so we due to the because configuration modify this configuration dialog box set to scope pin we also modified scope input configuration
if we complete the connection then we need a solver because solver is solve the all the circuit component we need a solver so we are searching a solver from where is solver presented we find a solver and we pick up the solver and the solver is connected from the circuit any side of wiring it's it's your choice any any side of the circuit you can set up a solver and we set a value register value 100 ohm we also set a microfarad 10 microfarad capacitor value both capacitor value is same and both resistor value are will be same and and we run a simulation because of we need a simulation so we run simulation in the top of cv run simulation run simulation and after simulation we see left ready is uh, and next we double click in the scope and we see the output this is the first order first order circuit first order low pass filter we know low pass filter is the first or second or third order and uh, and we see we name the output and input by this is uh, by name and output and input in this and we see solver we need is scope configuration so we control e click control e and next we is this window and we see do do 45 and the step size is 0.0001 set okay and we run again so we again press simulation on and open mm, or double click scope and we open a window we divided the input and output signal into portion and we see the input and output signal and and this configuration changes because of uh, we see no graph in the we see board yellow line so we need if we want to assign a cb of sine angle uh, and sine wave so we zoom the signal and we see this is on kind of sine of signal this is situated in the or we know the from the theory uh, but it is a band and if we zoom y axis by configuration and uh, this is x axis we zoom we can zoom it and this is the main if we want to four uh, arrow we see the uh, main signal and this is our zoom we can zoom out zoom in or out from and we see the name if we change the name input or output we change the simulink name converter name uh, we can uh, this is the input line so we change the name ps simulink input and uh, we and again we output name is the simulink 2 is output name we we change the output and we change see the change in again run run on simulation and we change the name and this is our main signal we desired first order basically we how to design a first order signal and by 
using this box we basically using uh, how it's uh, divided and this is our port configuration how the port inputted one scope and thank you everyone to watching my video basically we uh, input a uh, noise uh, we know no air signal is presented in noise so we noise a noise signal is import from uh, all li uh, library and uh, this is um, basically we add in series we know uh, on signal is presented noise and voltage source so we add a bonus noise from series in this MATLAB and when we set a voltage noise voltage is minimum from compared to the source voltage and we change the name noise And we run again similar run on simulation and we see the output and we see a band and you know we zoom we see sine wave or cause wave basically uh, today i will discuss about how a uh, low pass filter design in a math lab thank you everyone